Closer, Luke, Luke, closer.
on your belt second year in a row um talk about the moments of the game when you got up to nothing and they were able to storm back but then kind of got a little leverage behind you when you got that fourth goal and then after, obviously that third goal helped out too yeah i think uh in 2-0 you know once we went up 2-0 we kind of got back on our heels a little bit and then you know Staunton um got into the game and you know they're a good team um they capitalized on the mistakes and they were efficient from goal um you know and Going at halftime, I told the guys, I said, you know, this this is going to be a battle. This, this, you know, we need a full, complete 40 minutes. Um, and it shows that we played to the end with scoring that goal that late, that fourth goal. Um, Gavin being a big, big goal. Um, and, you know, good service on our third goal. You know, put them under pressure. They uh, put their under, uh, their back line under pressure to you know make that mistake and give us that that uh, own goal. So yeah, I was uh, <laughs> two two. I, at halftime, I was a little worried. <laughs> I was like, I don't think we can go to PK. I, I don't know what the chances are who, of going to PKs uh, again in the regional final two years in a row. That, that would be pretty wild. But um, yeah, I mean the boys played great. Uh, you know they maybe had a ten minute lull when, when Staunton got back in it, but. Um, you know, it shows they were hungry. You know, they, I told them at the beginning of the season, you know, we're going to have a solid team and we're going to be able to compete. And uh, they came out and did it. So you got to love Noah. Noah's just instincts on, on the, on the uh, grass there and his ability to track any ball, even though it probably wasn't his best. Yeah. He, yeah. He, uh, you know, his frame, his physical ability, um, you know, just is, is what – an asset of a keeper is, you know, he's tall, he's long, um, strong. Um, I think he got, you know, caught out on that near post shot, um, expecting a cross from that left, left footed uh, player out on the wing. But, you know, he stepped up in the second half um, and wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna, gonna give anything up. When you were tied, was was there a moment of ner nervousness of we got to figure out to get it on the, our side, and not keep it on their end? I'm um, not really nerves. I mean, been coaching it as long as I have. Been in a lot of different types of games, but and I knew that if we played to our ability, we would have opportunities. And and uh, Gavin Beaning and Isaac did a really good job in the midfield, and, and our wingers, um, you know, Landon and Tyler and Simon just kept kept the pressure, you know, on them to defend wide, and uh, they kept tracking back and helping on defense the defensive side of the ball and. Um, you know, just a great game by everybody. It was awesome. You know, I knew that it was possible. You know, I knew the talent that we had. And, you know, maybe some other teams in the area didn't think we would be in this position um, just because of what we lost uh, last year. Um, I think the, you know, losing that many seniors is hard. But, you know, with the amount of experience that this junior class got playing last year, it's, it showed. So take as far as <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah uh you know we always feed into uh, the springfield area sectional um and it's always tough you know williamsville they play tonight um we they beat us last year and they're probably you know one of the best public schools in 1a soccer them in columbia um, you know, if you get out of the Springfield sectional, you go down to the Metro East area, and you know it's another tough, tough sectional, super sectional game. Um, you know, it's just happy to be there. You know, give the guys more experience, give them another uh, memory of you know playing. When you were getting the saves, how critical was that? When you could have very easily just let 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 down. I mean, you can't let down at any moment in a game, so you got to keep your composure and. Even if they score, you just got to keep your head up and have the defense control them and then hope your offense scores eventually. And main part is controlling your defense and telling them when to step and where to go. And you just got to keep your composure. You can't let them, can't let a few goals bring, be your downside. 
year he's going to be on this team, but back-to-back -back regional champions going back to the sectional. It means a lot. I didn't – with a young team like this, I really – I thought it was going to be a rough one, but we killed the sectional or regionals and regional champs, obviously. So it means a lot, and can't wait to see where we go and who we play. Landon, your first two goals was huge. I mean, how what were you looking for in, on those goals? Um, on the first one, I saw Isaac's throw in. It came to my feet. I touched the ball, and I looked at the goal and shot it, shot in an open spot in the open area and put us put us up 1-0. On, on the second goal, Joey sent a nice Joey sent a nice cross in from the side. I saw the ball was almost identical to my first one, saw it and shot it in the open spot in the net and put us up 2-0. What is it? Uh, what's this moment mean to you? Winning a regional for the second year in a row. Um, just carry, carrying on the legacy from last year. Um, we have another great team, and hopefully we can win a game in sectional like last year too.